Hello, this is Kenny from Media Molecule, and I'm here to talk you through the contents of the next update to Little Big Planet, which, just like all our other updates, is named after a cheese. In this case, Leerdammer. Along with a tidy pile of small improvements throughout the game, the key features of Leerdammer include new save game functionality, improved connectivity, and the long awaited online create mode. We've changed the way that saving the game works. It's now faster, more flexible, and more robust. There's also a lot more space for all your creations and costumes. So, how exactly is it different? Well, PlayStation 3 games have access to two different parts of your system's hard drive the game data space and the save data space. Little Big Planet used to save your profile, that's your game progress, everything in your poppet inventory, and all the levels on your My Moon, into the save data space. But as of the Leerdammer patch, we will instead be saving your profile into the game data space. So far, so simple. However, backing up all your game data is a lot trickier and slower than backing up your save data. To get around this, we've added the ability for you to export your profile into the save data space. From here, you can back up your profile to a USB stick using the PS3's save game utility. To restore your profile, simply use the save data utility to copy it into the save data space and then import it using the in-game menu. But wait, there's more. In addition to being able to back up your profile, which, as previously mentioned, contains all the levels on your My Moon, we've also given you the ability to back up individual levels into the save game space. With all games, playing online can sometimes be disturbed by laggy connections. Little Big Planet isn't any different. So, in order to cut down on lag and connection issues, we've completely rewritten a huge chunk of the network code, which should now provide a vastly improved online experience. That is correct. Also rewritten is the matchmaking system, which should now place you into online games with people who you're more likely to have better connections to, which, again, will decrease lag when playing online. These connectivity improvements are especially welcome considering our next new feature. Now you can collaborate with up to three of your friends at a time, no matter where they are in the world. Joining a game is just as simple as in normal multiplayer. You can request players join you, or ask to join them in their level. I'm going to invite my mate Little Zim. Online Create works similarly to offline co-op Create, but with a few additions. The main difference is that each sack person has their own camera meaning you can work on entirely different parts of the level at the same time. So whilst I make this thingamajig over here, Zim can go off and make a bridge or something equally constructive. So you can keep in touch with each other, the off-screen indicator shows where your partners are and what they're doing. The host of the game, that's me, controls the rewind mode but the other creators can request the rewind from the host at any time by pressing left in the D-pad, just as though they were rewinding in single player mode. When we're done, we publish the level as normal and bask in the glory of a job well done. Thanks a lot, Sam. That's it for the Leerdammer update. We hope that you enjoy using these new features in your Little Big Planet creations and look forward to seeing the fruits of your labor.